Hey there, everybody. That's right, today is another tutorial video. I decided to post a couple tutorial videos on contraptions I plan on making. Since I'm going to be taking some time to work on that cave I had shown you all earlier. Today I'm going to be showing you an automatic pottery making machine. It's a little bit slow, but all you have to do is put clay in it, set it to the setting you want, and it gives you pottery. Right now I have it set it on making some vases. See, there's a crucible. There's a planter. There's a vase. And it's going to turn and shove it out. And now I have a vase. And if I change the speed of this thing, first I need to set these repeaters to maximum delay. Crucible, planter, vase. Now the delay is going to take a little bit of time, and we get an urn. Damn rain. Anyway, if I change the speed of this thing, to 2, and this thing to 2, we're going to get a vase again because I didn't have it set quite right. Actually, we're going to get, yes, we're going to get a vase. It's turning a little bit faster now, so it works a little bit faster. As a result, we get larger pottery. See, here we get a planter. And if I set all these to the fastest setting, we should be getting a crucible. Yep, there we go. We got ourselves a crucible. So this little setup can make all four kinds of pots. And I have a little bit of a piping system back here to recycle the clay and send the pots off to a kiln. So I'm going to take you through the steps on how to build this thing over here. Because here we have plenty of space out in this direction. I just need to grab myself some axles and gearboxes, and we should be good to go. Well, for the most part, we'll be good to go. So first off, I need to double check how many gearboxes this is actually going to take. Um, to be safe, we'll start with here to add the pump system in. So one, two three, four. So four long. Let's just go ahead and set that up quick. And you know what? We're going to have to do a little bit of trickery with this. One, two, three, place. One, two, three, place. One, two, three, place. All right, we'll start from here. So one, two, three. Here's our first one. One, two, three. Here's our second one. One, two, three. Third one. Fourth one. And we just go ahead and place these axles. Uh, 
And I need to turn this thing so it's facing right. I love that little effect. How it slowly starts turning over this way. Uh, but you know what? I should turn this thing off. Oops, I got shoved out of the way. Alright, so here's our fourth one. Let's zip back over here quick. And we start working on the second one. We have to have axle all the way to here and a turntable above that. So let's go set that up. Alright, so this is going to be our pottery maker. And we need a hopper. There's my hopper. And then below that we're going to need a chest. And we'll make it a two wide one. Let's get this rounded. Oops. Oh, we don't need that. Alright. Zip back on over here. We'll keep working with the axles and gearboxes for now. This one's a little bit special. We need a gearbox in the middle of this axle system because that's what causes just enough delay for us to get everything we need. So, fly on back. Oh, got turned around. Leg. I hate you, leg. Oh, I might as well memorize this. Gearbox, axles, one gearbox, and an axle. Alright. Oops, not the right spot. So there, and there, and there. Then we place the axles like so. One on top. This turntable is our second half of our timer system, and this one is the first half. And we're just going to go ahead and set these to two right away. Uh, stretching out a little bit. I'm a little bit stiff and sore. Alright, so we got the w axles and gearboxes out of the way. I can go ahead and toss these. Then we need to add some platforming for our wires. I don't remember how wide we need to make that. Let's see three away from the gearbox, not the gearbox, the thing, and then all the way to the side. Okay, let's go. I could just flew around that line, didn't I? Okay, so here we have our platform for the wiring. And we need one there. And I believe it was redstone here. On this side we're going to have a torch. This is where we're going to have a detector block, not a detector, a uh, block dispenser, which is something I haven't gotten to make in my Let's Play series, but I'll be able to make it soon. And we're going to need a full delay here. And I need to get 
I can get rid of these turntables and get a piston instead. Piston goes right here to shove the clay and pottery out on into the hopper. We need... you don't go there, you go here. And one here. Alright. I also need to get a little platform thing going down. There. I made this thing a little bit more compact over here than I did over there. Redstone like this. And I believe I have the circuit right. Oh wait, I forgot one bit of redstone. It's supposed to go right here. The reason I had the redstone here is to keep the timer from messing messing up a little bit and shoving a clay block over there. It has happened to me on a couple different speed settings. Putting a little bit of redstone dust here keeps the timer set just long enough that it will not cause critical failure. You know what I'm talking about, right? I hope you do. I certainly don't. I never know what I'm talking about. I'm just winging it. I need to get some glass. And I'm not going to put any glass here yet. I do put glass here because it helps keep the clay from being launched up in the air or, or somewhere. I guess it doesn't really matter. It all falls back down. But if you were to put stone here, you'd not have as good a view. So, clay. Not clay, glass. Need to cover this part up, though. And this part. And before I continue to cover anything up, we're going to put our block dispenser in there. Need to float a bit. There we go, block dispenser. And let's load it up with some clay to start out with. Because we are going to give it a signal. Now, did I have a delay on that signal at all, or was it just automatic? Uh, yep, I have a full delay on that. There, so now we have our clay set up right away. All we need is a redstone torch here and one here. And I believe that does it for the automation part of the pot producing stage. Now we need a little bit less lag. And most importantly, we need to get the piping system put in for recycling everything. Alright, so we have... Oh, I didn't actually need a double wide one. Who cares? See, this goes up in the air. Yeah, we can do this pretty easily. just have to work with the limitations that Bill, Better Than Bill's Craft has with the piping. Alright, so we need the axle and gearbox again. No more need for redstone dust right now. Let's see, three into the air, a gearbox. Gearbox. Gearbox, axle, and 
and I need to get some pipes. Here we go, a transport pipe. Perfect. I can actually get rid of that chest because we don't need that big of one. And a wood engine. <coughs> Excuse me. Throat's getting a little bit dry right now. Take a drink quick. Okay, let's get some more piping in here. We'll just grab some low friction pipes for the hell of it. And now comes a little bit of trickery. Let's see, we put a gearbox here. And I need to find the automatic crafting table. So it's going to be axle, wood engine. Axle, wood engine over here is going to be a pipe, so let's put the automatic crafting table here. And the pipe here. There. This is not right at all, is it? No, it is. It's not. This is horrible. This is bad. I'm failing. I'm sorry, everyone. I thought I know how to do this thing. Okay. We'll put it here instead, because that's where the wood engine is actually able to power that. Automatic crafting table can go on the side then, and the piping can run over here. Now down below we are going to have the pipes go this way, and right here we're going to put in a very special pipe, it's a diamond transport pipe. Those of you who know Buildcraft know all about these things, they help you sort things out. But it is very expensive to make in Better Than Buildcraft. It requires you to go through a lot of steps. Let's see, I can get rid of this wood pipe and this diamond pipe. I need some clay balls. Alright. So five clay balls. We want clay to go on the green pipe. So bits of clay and pottery will travel down these pipes. They'll get to here. Clay will go over here into this automatic crafting table and turn back into a clay block. Oh, I guess you don't use up clay anymore. And once it's got enough clay to make a clay block, it will automatically make one pump it out and send it back to our block dispenser where it will be reused to make more potteries. Meanwhile all the pottery will be heading over to my kiln. Actually it's gonna head to this kiln instead. Let's go ahead and get that set up. That's not how I want to set it up. And I'm probably going to do some more trickery and add some golden pipes in here just to launch everything faster. I went too far. Ah, finally the rain stopped. I can hear myself think again. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab some golden pipes so we can get this thing working faster for us. Speaking of working faster, it's time to turn it on. Oh, 
Oh dear. Guys, I have bad news. I fucked up. <laughs> I know where I fucked up. I forgot to put in that. <sighs> okay. There, now it's making us the things properly. Although I think I got some of the delay wrong because that is making... Let me go check this quick. I need to set this to the crucible setting. Hmm, everything's set up the same. Let's watch again. Hmm. Well, I've managed to get myself confused again, guys. <laughs> Crap. Well, you only need one crucible anyway. And if you're really in desperate need of a crucible, you can always trigger it early. So, let's get some gold pipes in here. I'll put one here. And I'll call that good. Let's power them so that they launch the items. Well, I'll add one right here, too. Alright, now we need to turn on our pump system. Oops, that's not going to help. Okay. Here we go, we're pumping items out now. We're pumping items out, right? No, we're not pumping items out. I do not have any power to this hopper. Um, how did I get power to the hopper? Oh, duh. I completely missed a step, guys. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I promise. There. Let's see, it's pumping out planters. Good. Let's make sure the other settings on this thing work. Let's see that goddess of us, right? Yes, it did. Set to max delay. And watch it for a bit. Because the most important part is, does this give us an urn? Well, 
And looks like it does. Yes, it does. Good. We need urns. There goes some pottery. Did I turn this thing off? Oh dear. <laughs> ah, there was one problem that I had with this kiln every now and then. And that was it. There, I think that'll help. A minor delay so that it doesn't suck up the brick ever. Yep, it's working. That's what the problem was. The brick was sucked up, so it wasn't making pottery anymore. Uh, okay, that's not going to work. I can't have this delay here. Well, I can, but I need to add it here, too. Okay, just making sure that this still works. And does it suck up the brick at all? I think it only sucks up the brick when you're logging in. So you have to be careful with that. Always you end up with a messed up machine. Although it might fix itself, I don't really know. Let's try that. We will break the brick and we will put the brick in. And we will see if it fixes itself. I'm guessing it might not. Uh, there's a brick in the way, and it's not going to fix itself. It's going to suck up the brick again, and everything's going to be bad. Well, guys, I have shown you how to make an automated pot-making facility, which, for some reason, works I'm making everything over there, but not over here. Let's toggle these settings again. Give it one more go. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I don't care. Hey, it works! All right. This was fun, guys. I will see you next time, which we will be making an automatic soul urn creating facility. So, see you then. And now it doesn't work. Damn it! <laughs>